I'm a professional makeup artist and I teach lessons all the time to everyday people just wanting to learn how to amp up their makeup routine. And these are the three mistakes that I see people making all the time. The thing I say in these lessons over and over and over again is if it's not even on your brush, it's not gonna be even on your face. So whatever tool you're applying something with, the product needs to be evenly loaded on that. So you either need to be evenly loading the bottom of your sponge if you're applying foundation, or like these stick products, people do this all the time. They draw on their face and then they have to work really, really hard to blend it out and move it around. At that point, it's kind of already started to dry down and it's harder to kind of move it. So then you have to push harder and you end up ripping up everything else underneath it. So what I like to do with stick products like this is just apply it directly to the brush. But again, that's not gonna be perfectly even. So then I tap it out on my hand or a palette or something just to get it evenly coated before I touch my face. The next one is making sure all of your creams are applied how you like them before you set it with powder because once you set it with powder, you're done with the creams. I know Patrick Ta said you can go the other way and Patrick Ta can do whatever he wants, but not you. We're gonna talk about how to correctly apply setting powder. This is my tried and true Miss Laura Mercier. I have people ask me like, oh my gosh, that looks so good. What powder are you wearing? And it's always Laura Mercier and half the time the response is, oh, I tried that and I don't like it. Let me show you how to put it on because there's no way you don't like this powder. If you tried her Ultra Blur, the talc free one, that's like they replaced the talc with mica, that might be why you don't like it because that one is garbage. That one should go directly into the trash straight off the gondolas immediately. So a lot of people just dip in, tap off, go right in, right? Can you guys see all the chunks of powder on there? Mm -mm, baby girl, that is not what we are doing. So many people also rotate their brush or they use a giant, I don't even have, they use a giant fluffy brush like this and they just set everything real quickly. Think about it like this. This brush is flat, right? So if I go in and I set my face with it, my face is not flat. My cheeks come out, my nose comes out, my lips comes out. So if I'm tapping it with powder, the parts of my face that come out are gonna really grasp that powder and the under areas or the areas that are more sunken back are not gonna get that same amount of powder. So you're not gonna be applying anything evenly. It's gonna be a mess. If it's not even on the brush, it's not even on your face, okay? So keep that in mind. So when we apply powder, there's two things that people don't recognize. What do you think these little holes on this are for? To sift, possibly, right? So when we load up the powder, we tap it off in the sifter, and we do this for like 10 seconds, y'all. We're just gonna push back and forth. Again, we're not rolling, just flat on one side of the brush. Tap off, we're just gonna keep sifting until the powder is all the way inside the bristles. All the way inside, not just on the outside, okay? And then we're gonna dust it off to where barely any is coming off. And then when you look here, you should not see any chunks of powder, okay? No chunks of powder. This is a perfectly loaded brush and you're gonna see what it does to my under eyes. So if you're setting your under eyes, no matter what you do to your under eyes, they will crease, doesn't matter, unless you have lots of under eye filler and you don't have a single wrinkle or you're 16, okay? But we're always gonna tap out the creasing before we set. Look, this is me making sure I'm even on the right side. Okay, that's the side that has the powder. So I'm gonna look up gonna press this in starting in my inner corner and then working my way out and we're just gonna tap 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 so I know I'm going so fast that it doesn't really look like it but every time you tap it has to come off the skin we're not dragging we're not doing that we're tapping we're tapping 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 no pulling everything on the face is wet right now so if I start swiping cardinal sin okay now we're gonna go back up to the tear duct and work down and around the nostrils because this is where we crease first you always want to set the areas you crease first so under eyes crow's feet nostril smile lines chin dimples whatever anywhere where you feel like you're gonna start creasing once you start talking or moving so this is the area i like to go inner corner to outer inner corner to nostril nostril to smile line down to chin that's how i like to set now look at that guys Look at the difference in the sides here. And I haven't set anything here or forehead. I literally just did that area. Look how flawless it looks. Actually, do I have the filter on? No, I didn't, but this is it with the filter on. Looks even better, right? But let's take the filter off. So if you don't like powder, it's because you're not using it correctly. You're welcome. 